Hey guys, welcome back to another Monster video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the best attacker in Monster Legends. This is by far the most powerful monster ever created. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys why this monster is actually the best. So I hope you guys are excited if you are, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. The most powerful attacker is Fire Slayer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine? But no. So here's the thing. Some players actually think that it may be Cupid, right? Cupid from the... Uh, what it, what era is this? Doomed? Oh, yeah, yeah. So from the Doomed era. Not really, no. He is good, but not the best one. And then some players might think it's actually Serpentix. Serpentix is actually up there. Uh, he has been for a while, for a very long time. But he's not the most powerful one, okay? Now, the most powerful monster right now in the game... We're gonna have to give it to Grifania. Grifania is like the best one right now that you can actually invest in. Now it's very difficult to actually, first of all, obtain this monster, but he is technically free to play. Let's actually throw that out there. This is technically a free to play player. There are free to play players out there. Uh, one of them actually, uh, he's like a subscriber, a viewer of mine. Um, I believe he has a close to like rank three or four, which is pretty nice. Um, send me a picture on Discord as well. So, you know, free to play players could technically, you know, get lucky and get this monster ranked high enough and stuff like that because there's technically dungeons now as well although they don't give you too many cells but you know it's, it's there you know what i mean the dungeon is there and they do provide cells as long as you have the egg as long as you have the monster so yeah you can get this monster right now the egg there's one percent chance i think the chances of getting the egg actually increased so there's one percent chance now it used to be like 0. 0.000 something uh and then getting the 20 cells is now 1.33 percent so yeah i mean it's there you know what i mean but Technically, it's free to play, and it's the best attacker right now uh, up to this day. And some people may argue, but you know, I'd love to hear your opinions. Who do you guys think is actually the best? I feel like this is the best monster ever released. So you got immunity control, trait protection, area cooldown immunity, hardened, and status of true vision, so you don't miss, which is very nice. It's better than uh, what is that other one? The accuracy one. Uh, it basically like makes your accuracy better by like 50%, but status of true vision, that's just even better because precision is basically doubled. You can't ever miss. Uh, now, what's nice about this monster, first of all, let's let's get into the stats. Stats are just broken. 47,008 power, uh, 1,353,200 life, 20,832 speed, um, and it's just crazy. Like, traits, I like the traits. Uh, imagine there was like a damage boost here, like a 50% damage boost or something, or even 25%, I would have actually taken that. But it is a ancestral monster and uh these this is actually like a beast it is double elements and these elements are actually pretty good for the current uh meta like against like serpentix against cupid like it just dominates in this uh current meta so it's not even like something really weak like nature or something where you can just get one tap by serpentix or you know what i mean be weak against serpentix it actually has metal attacks so it's it counters serpentix it counters you know cupid those meta monsters it even has like different elements like water thunder this monster is just packed with a bunch. Now, what I really like about this monster is, first of all, this skill right here, Armored Pick, which is a zero stamina cost, although there is two turn cooldown, but zero stamina. So even if you run out of stamina, you can just hit him with an insane metal damage. Because remember, keep in mind, you get a lot of strength, right? You get a lot of power. So like 56,597. And if you give in like two strength like this, you add in another 95k. Look at that, 152k. That is just insane. And if you could add in another one, give it three. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be insanely high. So that's one of my favorite skills. Another one I really like is this one right here. This is probably my personal favorite one. It is a water massive damage skill. It is not, unfortunately, it's not zero stamina, uh, or else that'd actually be broken. But yeah, it's not zero stamina. It does require stamina. And there is a high cooldown, but it gives you pierce and it also gives you evasion which is pretty nice but it does remove the pierce from itself but if you do pair it up with the monster that will apply random positive or a positive effect protection then you know if you use a skill you keep the pierce which is very nice so that way you can actually use these other skills next turn you know while you still have pierce which is very nice so it's some it's some really good stuff and now here's where it actually gets interesting awakening all right if you don't know what this is you must be living it on a rock because the awakening is just insane it's like basically your ultimate but on steroids basically so look um so basically let's say you pair this monster up with obviously a team right but let's say those the, the team has like a bunch of extra turns uh, extra, extra turn monsters you know what i mean like you got extra turn skills on those monsters and if they actually perform five times like attack it doesn't matter what they do let's say they remove positive stats that can deal some damage or trade tables or whatever you get the extra turn Five, five times, right? You attack. This monster 
gets his uh, basically let's say ultimate form you know what i mean where he gets skill mirror 20 percent damage increase and also he gets this right here which is insane so it trade tables enemies very heavy metal damage to all enemies and you can basically continue attacking sometimes which is very nice so i really like this i, I really like the intruder 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 elimination oh wow, i can't even talk but yeah this thing is insane there is another zero cooldown he has a zero cooldown metal skill that you can run uh he does have a stun skill so if you want to run like a stun ability skill there's a damage boost that gives an extra turn if you want to run that but yeah the other ones you can run them if you want there is a heavy light damage that requires zero cooldown as well so he has a bunch of zero cooldown skills and multiple different element skills which are very nice so he's packed with like four different elements which is pretty sweet uh relic wise i, re I really do like the relics the fact that he can actually come back that's just enough you know what i mean already and sword it makes it, it makes him even more powerful now look I'm actually going to show you guys on PvP how powerful this monster is actually. Alright, so we're just going to pair it up with like a trade tabler. Now, it's best if you pair it up with, I would say, this monster alongside Shadow Yena. Uh, because, I mean, hold on, you know what? Maybe we could actually do that right now, but I, I don't want to make her lose any trophies because she's in second place. I respect that. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to mess it up because this attack team already she's using is very, very nice. Uh, but... Shadow with Cannon Levin and this monster, they just, it's just a really good combo altogether. Uh, Cannon Levin taking it the first turn, opening up the path, and then Sharyana opening that path even more, and then eventually turn transferring while he has his intruder, intruder elimination. I can't even pronounce that, <laughs> but you get the point. It's, it's crazy. So let's go ahead and eliminate the main threat here first. So let me see. You don't have any talents there. We'll eliminate you. So it's pretty nice. The water skill against fire monsters, like, you know, keep it in Serpentex. It's nice. So once you eliminate the main threat, the remaining is easy. You know, they can't really do much. We can do this. And Skid gets a turn, so we'll do this. And we'll just auto the remaining. She might come back. Oh, never mind. I guess not. Alright, well, I'll take the win. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. But yeah, man, this monster is amazing. Shall we? I really want to pair it up with Shadow, you know. Shall we do it? I know some of you guys actually want to see this. You know what? We're gonna try our hardest not to lose here with this. I mean, it's it's almost impossible to actually lose with this, but... Anyways, here. We'll do this. I'm gonna do it for you guys, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best not to actually lose. It's, it's kind of hard to lose with this anyways. So here, with this, you want to give it an issue on its spiral. I feel like what's best is giving this Adam's Cross. So look. We got all of this set up, right? Now, this monster, you want to give it an extra speed. So it's 3 speed here, 32k, 3 speed here, 31k, and then your attacker. Now, attacker, you don't have to give it a speed rune. You can actually give it triple strength rune. Um, that's still good. Yeah, you don't really have to do that if you don't want to. So look, this is what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and take it in first turn. PR and trade disable, right? There's one time. You see how it's at plus one for awakening? So look, look I'm, I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. Uh, we're going to traceable, and it, you guys could see it just kicked in again, plus one. So we'll go ahead and give ourselves two extra turns here. We're not going to attack you anymore because you keep on hitting me with a thing. And now finally, I think that was the final one. Oh wait, there's one more left, I think. Oh, I messed up my skills, that's why. Oops, okay. Well, it's fine. We'll just go ahead and PR one more time. And as you guys can see, wait, is there already, oh, it's four out of five. Here. Now it's 5 out of 5. Okay, so finally, 5 out of 5, you want to go ahead and turn transfer over to your attacker. And he basically went ahead and turn transfer back to me thanks to the skill mirror, which is very nice. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I messed up. No. No, I messed up the skills again. <laughs> You're supposed to do traceable, PR, traceable, and all that. Alright, anyways, but it doesn't matter. Look at this. The path's open, right? So we can attack these other two. The main threat, which is Voltaic, so we have to get rid of Voltaic. Now, I could have also PER that other monster, which I should have. That way, it would have been so clean, just like eliminating all of them. But like, uh, it's fine. It is all right. Maybe we can actually do like triple red. Tr should we do triple red on this monster? On Grifania? I don't want to. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Let me get my turn so I can just. Oh, never mind. I don't even need a turn. I don't even need a turn. Get out of here. <laughs> Who needs a turn? I don't. Get out of here. Alright, let me go ahead and attack somebody here. Uh, oh, what are you? Top 3, right? 
Top three. What are you using? We can PR choice able turn transfer over. Wait, how fast is yours, Voltec, first of all? Let's see. Two speed, one strength. Oh yeah, okay, that's that's easy. If that's what you got for defense, then that's easy. Oh look that that messes up. You see the speed right there? The speed messes up there. 32 to 31. Never mind. Wait, hold on. You have Curtis Horn? Chinese ideas. Seven cents. You have copy your Okay, so let's just Oh you do have Megaton. You got you got Megaton or I think it was Taunt, one of the two. But anyways, let's let Volta get a turn in attack. Alright. Let's see what Voltic does here. We gotta have some of our relics and talents kick in and help us out here. Alright, those are the extra turn skills. Unfortunately, I don't have any more relics or talents or anything like that that will actually help me stop Voltic. He's just, he's just going to... But it's okay, look at the life. Look at the life I have, guys. <laughs> that life is insane. 1.6 million. Go ahead and attack all you want. <laughs> Let me let me get a turn in here. That's a lot of tortures. Um, so I could eliminate Voltic right now, which we will. Let's do it. And we'll, once we get a turn in right here, that's when we'll go ahead and heal because healing is actually important. So we'll go ahead and heal. Uh, healed by 500k, I think that was, which is pretty nice. So I do have Pierce. You see how he she has evasion? But let me see. I do have blind, and it's 50% blind. Hopefully this actually goes through. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we could do anti-fire, or we could actually do the double damage with life regen. Let's do that. And I do have my pierce, uh, not, not pierce, the evasion. Uh, so that thing wasn't able to get Ken, which was nice. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and charge up because I don't have pierce or anything like that. Uh, let's go ahead and PR and trade table. And we'll just go ahead and do one tap and GG's. So at the beginning, it kind of looked a, little bit, a bit rough because of the turn order that messed us up. But anyways, we took 19 trophies. Uh, but I don't really want to mess with this too much. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually switch it back to what she had originally, uh, which was Skite Cold, and we'll do the one team speed here. So yeah, we'll just go back to normal. But yeah, you guys saw, right? With uh, with Shadow, she actually can help you out a lot. Shadow plus Cannon 11, and this attacker is just its crazy. It's a really good combo. Uh, but yeah, this attacker is the best one right now in the game to actually invest in. So if you guys haven't already, try your luck in the conjuring event. Hopefully you'll be able to get him. And then from there, try to invest in him. Try to get him up because he's crazy. <laughs> he is crazy. Even at like rank 3 or something. You know what I mean? If you can get it to like rank 3, I don't even have the egg on my account. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's monster video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyway, we'll see you guys next one. Peace out.